Hi, my name is Carlos from the INRF and today we'll be going over a tool called the AMV UV flood lamp exposure. Our tool is located in the Bion in our hot embossing room. Now this tool, as shown right here, has a very important purpose of allowing you to expose your sample in a big flood lamp exposure way. This is great if you have a single layer or if you have a sample that does not need any alignment. To use this tool, be sure to log into our computer on the left. I'm already logged in so we don't have to show that. And to program the tool, we use a simple timer. We prefer users not to use the manual, but instead stick to the auto expose. The auto expose is based on the timer set here. As you can see, it is currently set at four seconds. So if I press auto expose, the lamp will automatically shine for four seconds. But before we do an exposure, let me show you the chamber. The chamber is open by turning this knob, and inside you'll see a wafer flap. This wafer flap is pretty important because this is where we take our measurements for benchmarking. The benchmarks are shown here. Here you can find where we like to take our measurements. As you can see, the flat is drawn in the figure here, and we have five located spots where we take measurements. This constitutes how we measure our intensities, and typically we give you an average measurement so that you know well, how much energy is being shot into your sample during exposure. This can be found on the wall right over here. And typically, as we update new entries, they might be also found in the logbook right here. So please take a look. And if you want a more accurate measurement, you can always ask staff to come over and take a measurement. We're more than happy to do it for you. So next, we're gonna show you how the exposure looks. Now, this is really, really dangerous for your eyes, so you should never look at it with your bare eyes, but our camera doesn't have that problem. So we're gonna show you on camera so at least you can see what it looks like. So that was only a four second exposure, which is short, but at this point our sample is done being exposed, so you can take it out and continue doing processing as needed. Thank you.